As anyone who had read my review for the movie might remember, I wasn't the biggest fan of last year's The Lion King remake. I felt the movie pilled in comparison to the 1994 original and lost something vital to his narrative in its pursuit of hyper-realism. The one aspect of the movie I remember liking do was its soundtrack album. The album served as a showcase for a broad spectrum of musical styles that represented contemporary African music as a whole. So I always felt it was a bit of a shame and a waste that the actual movie never quite managed to live up to the music it inspired. Well, it seems Beyonce must have felt that way as well, because she has gone and made Black is King, a musical film that served as a worthier companion to the music she'd curated for the Lion King soundtrack album. What's up everyone, Michael Abayemi here, and today I am reviewing the new Beyonce musical, Black is King. Black is King is effectively a retelling of the same story we saw in Lion King, only this time it is told in a contemporary African setting with a dash of surrealism thrown in. So instead of Simba the Lion, we have a young African prince who is forced out of his ancestral home and must journey through a strangely foreign land in search of answers and more importantly, himself. He is guided by the spirits of his ancestors and on the road to redemption, he discovers love and a greater purpose. All that sounds simple enough on paper, but it is in the execution of its rehashed premise that the movie truly shines. Every single frame of this movie is stunning to look at, with costumes and sets that showcase the richness of African culture, and breathtaking cinematography that manages to capture all of it in jaw-dropping detail. Beyonce has already proven that she has an eye for such things in her past work, but never has her talent felt as remarkable as it does here. Then there's the music accompanying all those shiny visuals. The movie contains a good number of songs from the soundtrack album, including fan favorites like Brown Skin Girl. It also features appearances from the likes of Jay-Z and Pharrell Williams, as well as Nigerian acts like Mr. Easy, Yemi Alade, and Wizkid, to name a few. Each artist brings something fresh to the table during their performances, ensuring that the film never starts to feel still as we move from scene to scene. The choreography is of course as you would expect it, with Beyonce bringing all that high energy has come to be known for. There were so many great performances on display that I find it hard to pick a favorite one to highlight. I guess I have to at least mention Find Your Way Back with its sweeping desert backdrops and celestial overtones. The song was already great to begin with, but paired with its stunning visuals, it somehow manages to take on a new life. And that is the best way to describe the movie as a whole. It elevates the music in the best way possible, and the fact that it also functions as a celebration of African culture and what it means to be black and proud is just icing on an already delicious cake. I would give Black is King a 9 out of 10. So go and watch Black is King if you haven't already. It doesn't matter if you're a Beyonce fan or not. There's plenty to love here and I couldn't recommend it highly enough. Have you had a chance to watch the movie? Are you planning to watch it anytime soon? Let me know in the comments below. And until next time, this is Michael. Signing off.